Hello, it's been a long time. Sorry for the darkness. I'm sitting in an empty parking lot on, uh, underneath the light, but it's not enough light. Uh, I just wanted to share something real quick. It's been, it's been a long time. I apologize <clears throat> for my viewers, my little bit of viewers that I got. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I, I have grown a mustache and a gold teeth, but um, I just wanted to share something real quick it's not gonna take long uh, so at uh, five months ago I, I, I spoke about uh, Abraham sacrificing Isaac I uh, it's one of my videos but I'm gonna go back two chapters uh, this one's been really it's been really hitting me hard because I uh, okay so in Genesis 20 Abraham <clears throat> as we know at that time, God has already spoken with Abraham. He told him he's going to make him father of all these nations. And, you know, is it blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon, you know, for generations. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, and he promised Sarah, his wife, that she would have a baby. Well, at this time, in Genesis 20, I'm just going to give you a short detail. This guy, Abraham, the father of all nations, right? Uh he wasn't at the time. He uh, he was walking with God. Now, as many of us Christians, we walk with God. And even when we walk with God, we, we allow things in our life to distract us and take us off uh, uh, the, the way that God wanted us to be on, on the road, on, to whatever he wanted us to go. <clears throat> and uh, Abraham started started having fear it says it right there it doesn't say why he had fear well it says it's okay fear he had fear that his his wife is beautiful right he feared for his life now remember the bible says he feared for his life he didn't fear for his wife he didn't fear for his kids he didn't fear for nobody but himself at that moment and what comes with fear well fear comes with uh with doubt so abraham doubted there was a moment in his life that, you know, he heard of God, he heard his His word, and, and same thing as my, and I'm telling you by experience, everything that I speak on, everything that I've gone through, I use the word of God as for my experience. Now, I, I pray that this hits you and you grasp, take a, uh, capture it, um, and it gets, it stays in your heart. It stays rooted in your heart. So anyways, uh, Abraham tells his wife. Now, a lot of people say, no, he didn't lie. No, he lied. Um, he lied. He made his wife lie, saying that he that was he was not her husband. That was her brother, right? Uh, technically, it was half-brother. But he still lied because he was married to her. So Abraham, uh, he he made his wife lie because he feared for his life he started doubting god's promises he started doubting you know it's like me you know i i want my rib i want my own spot i got my own car and i thank god for that but there's some stuff there's some things and stuff people that i want in my life and i just it just cannot happen and uh so i start doubting and just like abraham I pull my family out of one location and put them another, and uh, uh, you know, and I miss my family, my church family. I miss uh, most of my kids. I have one beautiful child that I have stewardship over, and I'm grateful for God. I don't deserve her. I don't. I'm not. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad person. I'm not perfect. I. I'm a. I'm a sinner. But I'm grateful that God has put me in a position, uh, just like Abraham, he walked away from, from what the Word of God said. All you had to do was be obedient, but he was checked because he, he let his wife go with the king just so he wouldn't get killed because he was scared. And God still intervened. God still went to the king and said, check this out, bro. 
you are about to make the biggest mistake of your life and you're about to lose your life and, and your families and your family's family. And the king's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. My hands are clean. And God says, yes, you're innocent, but I need you to go back. And a lot of times God will send people to us to remind us that we're messing up. Hey, you need to go back to church. Hey, what you're doing is not right. It's not of God, you know? And uh, remember, read. The, I just ask you just to read it. If you want to read it, read it. I'm giving you a short version. So the king goes back to Abraham and says, hey, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Bro, you setting me up. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? You know, not, and these times now, it doesn't matter. But in those times, uh, it did matter. You know, it mattered. You couldn't mess with somebody's wife. You couldn't, you know, it's a sin. And um, I, feel, I, I feel that this story hit me because Abraham pulled himself out of the walk with Christ, right? Walk with the Father, walk with the Holy Spirit, and he started doubting. And, and I've done that, you know, to this day. I'm like, man, God, when, I, don't know, I don't have no cash on me. Some of my bills are paid, some are not. Some entities are coming down hard on me, you know. But I'm doubting. God says, I got you. I got you. Excuse me. I'm drinking Monster. I got to be up all night, but I'm taking my short uh, short little uh, break in, in my time just so I could post this video. Uh, I apologize for the darkness and all that. So where we're at. Oh, yeah. So God still sent the king and he told the king you know this man that lied to you and all that but he's gonna pray for you and, and things will get better so be, uh what happened to the king is is all his wives and and uh that you know at that time the kings can have multiple conf concubines uh many multiple women as wives so the king uh was not able to have any kids because the women were barren because he was stepping into sin and a lot of times, uh, us Christians, we, we make these choices that hurt our families, hurt our wives, our kids, our husbands. And we start hurting other people. Remember, remember, you know, we are the light of the world. So when we start making these mistakes, when we start making left turns in the wrong way streets, in our metaphorically in our lives, people are watching us. We're hurting those people too. And we got to be careful in our walk. So those that do follow me or those that do uh, forgive me for not being on this platform like I usually do. I slacked off. I started doubting. Uh, I left my home. and uh, But we're still blessed. My daughter and I, we're still blessed. We're, we're extremely blessed. But uh, I just want to tell you that God put Abraham back. He grabbed him and put him back where he needs to be to go on his journey to become the father of nations, you know, because he had a he had a strong testimony. He had a strong, uh, you know, he had a strong calling upon his life. And just like you and I, we are all called. Few are chosen. And I don't want to be the one that that I was called but not chosen. So I'm coming back. And I'm going to be on this platform much as possible. And I just want to let you guys know that just like Abraham, if you have fallen away or if you know someone that's fallen away, that's made a mistake, you know, remind them that God, as long as you're alive, God has given you a chance. I don't deserve to be alive right now. I, I, I even ask God to take my life because I don't deserve it. But he has it. And I thank God for that. So, God bless you guys. I got to get back to what I was doing. Uh, God bless you all. And remember, God's grace is upon your life. As long as you wake up the next day, ask God for forgiveness. Before you go to sleep, ask God for forgiveness. Ask for those people that you trespass, those people that you hurt. You know, ask for forgiveness.
because if you don't and you continue doing what you're doing, God forbid, God God's grace, and then you're gone. You know, what kind of legacy you leave. Uh, so, God bless you all. Uh, sorry for taking up a lot of time. It was only supposed to be five minutes, but <laughs> uh, I need to get back to this. So, God bless you all. Stay safe. Remember, Jesus loves you. I pray that we all be meet up in heaven shortly. Uh, time is short. I'm, I'm out here in the streets, and I feel sorry for all these people. You know. Anyways, God bless. Bye.